Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the number of columns in the DV gallery modules at different breakpoints. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so before we begin, I would like to say if you want to use the same CSS code that I'll be using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and then click on add new. We're going to give a page a title. So we're just going to say gallery three and then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So with this technique, we can either use a pre-made layout or we can just build one from scratch. So for now, I'm just going to build one from scratch click on start building. And then what we're going to do here is to add a single column. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And in that column, we need to add a gallery module. So I'm going to uh, search for it and select it. Right. So what we need to do here, we have four images by default. So we need 12 images. So in order to achieve that, we need to click on this plus button here. And then we need to uh, select and click on our images. So I'm just going to go ahead now. All right, so that's my 12 images. I'm gonna click on select. Now, as you can see here, we have four images. So in order for us to show all the 12, you need to come to images number and add 12 on there. And also we have these descriptions here. We don't need really need those. So I'm gonna come over here to elements and then I'm gonna click and disable show title and caption and also disable pagination. All right, so that's looking great so far. I'm gonna go ahead and save. The next stage now is to remove the space between these images and also to make it full width. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to this gear icon on our row settings, click on design, sizing, and then we're gonna start off by making this full width. And then I'm gonna come over here to gutter width. Now the gutter width is the space between these images. So as you can see, as I'm making this, reducing this, it's getting smaller. Now I'm just gonna go all the way down here and set it to one. So as you can see, we have no spaces between our images and that's exactly what we want to achieve. Now with this setup, as you can see, it's quite difficult to customize the columns and make sure you have the uh, size columns that you need. But before I do that, I just wanna show you that this design itself is responsive. So I'm gonna come over here to the top and just, and just drag this. So as you can see here by size, this is getting smaller and the columns are changing, okay? But we want to customize this and have uh, custom columns. So to do that, we're gonna start by adding our CSS code. So I'm gonna come over here to this gear icon, click on advanced, custom CSS. So what the CSS code is going to do is going to make sure we show three columns regardless of which screen size it is. So I'm gonna come over here on gallery item and paste the CSS code. All right, so now that I've added the CSS code, you can see automatically this has updated the three columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then what we're gonna do as we did before, we're just gonna rearrange or make this smaller. So as you can see, as I'm going smaller and smaller, the size is being maintained and this is not becoming responsive, okay? So that's the code you wanna use if you want to maintain the number of columns on your design. Now let's go back in again and let me show you what you can also do here. So let's say you want to have two. So if you wanna do that, you can just come over here and enter 50. And those are the two columns that will show uh, it regardless of which size it is. Now, if you want one column, all you have to do is to enter 100%. And as you can see, now you have a single column. Now, what we need to achieve next is to change the number of columns for specific breakpoints. All right, so to do that, we're gonna start by adding some CSS code. So first of all, I'm just gonna get rid of all this like that. All right, so I'm gonna come over here to the advanced tab, and then I'm gonna click on CSS ID and classes. So we need to add a class called column width. So that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Next, we're gonna come over here to expand settings and add our CSS code. So this CSS code is going to be added to the page. So this code is only going to affect this page itself. All right, so I'm gonna click here on page settings, click on advanced, custom CSS, and then here is where I need to paste my CSS code. Now, if you take a look here, you'll notice that we have um, 
the desktop at 981 pixels. We also have max width of 9, uh, 980 here on the tablet. And then over here, we have a small tablet or a large phone. So these are the breakpoints. And then finally, we have the phone at 479 pixels on the max width. So these are the widths. So this is 50%. That means it will have two columns. And then over here, you'll have three columns and so on. So this is how you add your code. And this will be affecting different breakpoints. So now let's take a look at these three different views. So right now I'm with a desktop view. I'm going to click here on the tablet view. And as you can see, this has now changed. And then finally, I'm going to come over here to the phone view. And you can see the columns have changed. So this is the code that works with that. So now that it's all done, I'm going to go ahead now and just save this page and publish it. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.